away on England's southeast coast is a small seaside town. Hastings may be best known for its Battle of 1066, but battles and occupiers come and go. What has stayed constant in this particularly pretty spot is the livelihood. This, make no mistake, is a town defined by its coast. Its pebble beach sits front and center. Deep blue set off with deep red, it's where families come out to play, where preternaturally large seagulls come home to roost, and it's where the boats launch a thousand livelihoods and fill a thousand more plates. Head away from the shore if you can, and the rewards increase proportionately. The tall black buildings that fill the main street used to house fishing nets back in the day. It simultaneously offers spectacle and quiet, effortless charm. And yes, it feeds its many travellers very, very well. As I was taking a gander around, I spotted this. It's called Rockanore Fisheries and it looks small but strangely tempting. I headed inside only to be greeted by the unmistakable smell of salt, sea and smoke. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Rockanore Fisheries. Uh, thank you so My much. My name's Sunny. And yes, I've chosen well. Both Sunny and his fishery are something of a local institution. We've been here 40 years now, 38, wow. 40 years. I've been here 32 of those years wow. uh, with my parents. Uh, and we're best known for our smoke fish. Nice. Uh, we use as much local fresh fish and shellfish as possible, right. um, straight from the boats. It's that close, it's that fresh, and even better... As it happens, <laughs> we have a little selection there for oh, you. Oh, how beautiful. Well, look at that. That's a platter that's my kind of platter. To start then, because who can wait, their smoked Scottish salmon, just jammed with flavour. The amount of smoke you've had in there. So it's the method of smoking. So when we smoke this one, we raise the temperature and we effectively cook it in the smoke. Oh, wow. So we get to 80 degrees. It gives it a different texture and a different flavour. They also use that for a particularly potent pate. There's another technique which leads to something called hot smoked salmon, equally tasty. There's locally caught smoked and spiced mackerel that is smooth and soft and smoky and terrific. All this served with wonderful extras like smoked olives and smoked cheese and strands of that wonderful seaside succulent samphire. But this, this piece of fish was of the lot the one worth taking note of. That one you've got there is smoked conga eel. You don't see that many places. Smoked conga eel? Yeah, so it, they, and they are big eels, big fish. You're not sure about that one? No, I'm actually blown away by how much I like it. Really? Good. That's delicious. I'm chuffed. My, my, um, my old dad would be pleased to hear that, because yeah. he said to me, get that conga eel going. Oh, he did? Yeah, he did. He said, push it. Put, no one's yeah. doing it. Push it. So uh, yeah. I'm pleased. Not as pleased, I promise, as me. It's phenomenal seafood, but then again, this is Hastings, and I'm told that's just how they do it. What fun! <laughs> See, there's more to Hastings than seagulls right. and candy floss. <laughs> there's some good food to be at. We've got such a variety of local fish, you know, which right. we're so lucky. Yeah. You know, 50 paces that way, yeah. and we can let, take it off the boat. Wow. You know, really, really fortunate to have such lovely natural ingredients right on our doorstep. Well, he's not wrong, and so I confess I wasn't surprised to see another local landmark a little further down the street. Pat and Tush's fish roll stand. Hello. Hello, my dear. How are you? I am very well, Good. thank you. Good. Turns out I found it. Yeah, you found, found it. it. Tush Hamilton is something of a local legend. He was a fisherman, has travelled the world, but for him and his wife Pat, this clearly is home. We sold the boat and uh, we opened a fish shop. We, no, we didn't open a fish shop, we bought a fish shop, the oldest fish shop in Hastings. We worked there for more than 20 years and then uh, after we finished with the shop, uh, we stopped work 16 years ago and we've done this. Nice. <laughs> what makes your role so special? What's special about the role? Uh, we, maybe it's us, eh? <laughs> Maybe it's us, it no. It might well be. I'll tell you what it is, it's because it's fresh fish. This fish was swimming about yesterday. Yeah. This morning early, uh, we were down the market, I have to buy the fish, and then it's cooked today. And when it's gone, we're finished. Yeah. And that's how we do, you know. Well, I'm just glad I got here in time. Today, mine would be made with 
place and dabs. I don't know what dabs are, but I'm looking to try. This looks great. It's simple, just dusted in flour, seasoned and fried to a beautiful golden crisp. Careful because it's very hot. I'll keep that in mind. The condiments are at the side and here, folks, goes nothing. Good. Delicious. Nice, no, Joy. Just beautiful, happy, delicious fish. Oh, ha, ha. hot fish also. Well, if you're looking to walk off the excesses, let me assure you that Hastings is the place to do it. Use the funicular to get a bird's eye view of the town. It's a wonderful stretch up on the hill with green um, ice creams and vistas that simply won't quit. If you can manage to tear yourself away, and believe me, it takes some doing, head down and maybe try for an amble through the extraordinary old town with its crooked houses and quiet streets with flowers, whimsy, and buildings that date back to Georgian times. If you could, should lose yourself in these lanes for a while. Or you could head in for a little bit of high tea. The Pen Buckles Delicatessen look to be just the place, serving food with a philosophy. Try to keep things as locally produced as we can nice. and we are gradually going to as naturally produced as we can as well so things that are organic and that are biodynamic so lots to choose from from cheese pastries condiments of all kinds and sometimes if you're lucky an invitation too if you'd like to come through to the other room Ooh. you could there's you another could, room. There is another little room. Okay. And uh, we can just try a couple of local ones. Yes, they have a delightful space made for quiet afternoons and lucky me, some treats already in place. Oh gosh, what a spread you have. The first thing I was introduced to is the cheese. Sussex cheese is something they're quite proud of. First tried their most excellent Sussex brie, and then I was introduced to a delightfully named one. Is there are lots of local yeah. cheeses, and we have got a lot in the, the shop. Yeah. This one here is Sussex scrumpy, which is made with scrumpy cider, Ooh. garlic, and chives. Yum. Really, really good. Yeah, surprise. I didn't know what to expect from Scrumpy. It is. It's only very sweet. It's great and with sweet red onion chutney on the side, I'm sold absolutely. The onion chutney is just tough. And then there was this. You might think looking at it, samosa, empanada, Cornish pasty. Turns out you'd be wrong, kind of. And this a lot of people would look at and think this is a Cornish pasty, but it's not. No, no, this is a, a locally produced Cornish pasty called a St. Leonard's pasty. pasty. <laughs> and it's produced in St. Leonard's, which is just down the road. And it's much better than obviously a Cornish pasty. I couldn't possibly say it because I've offended people of Cornwall. All oh, right. Well, but I'm going to, I'm not an authority, but I'm going to say it's a lot better than the Cornish well, pasty. It's probably the same, filled with meat and potatoes, all hearty and wholesome and really very tasty, as was this. Again, not a sausage roll, or not just. This is a posh sausage roll. It is. Because it has red onion chutney down the side. Again, made by our baker. Oh, nice. Locally. Ooh. And, uh, bon appetit. Mm. Very flaky pastry. Very flaky very pastry. Much. I came here expecting a lot of treats. Yes. Um, when I first heard I was coming here, I did some reading. I knew it was going to be great. I have to say, I had no idea how great it was going to be. Oh, that's very kind of you. These things land a plenty. They serve deep, dark, delicious cold brewed iced coffee, all the better to wash down their pastes tanata. Some wonderful Portuguese egg custard tarts. And, or, or, this beautiful little pastry bursting with summer sweet raspberry. They are nice. Yeah. I'm having a moment. The thing, it's excellent, high quality, delicious food. And if you can't tell, I'm really quite blown away. Yes, we actually, we really like Hastings. It's full of eccentrics. It's actually, <laughs> it's a bit like London was in yeah. 1960s. It's quite gentle, laid back, yeah. very eccentric, <laughs> and there's always so much going on. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Loads of characters. Yeah. Loads of characters. Yeah.